And welcome back to game six of the Super Bowl Open PBA 50 event. And we've got the same groups we had a couple of games ago with only six pairs in eight games. I guess you're going to have to hit a couple of the pairs twice. So. Carl C., Joel Carlson, and Don Birkenthal are on lane one. We got Jay Watts, Dave Axton, and Gary Livingston on game on uh, lane three and four.
Okay, your standings after game five. Keith Lesko is still your leader at plus 161. Eugene McCune right behind him at plus 154. Tim Baxter, plus 139. Dave Reich uh, back into fourth at plus 96. Joel Carlson in fifth at plus 88. Scott Merritt, your sixth and final finalist spot with three games to go at plus 85. Tony Manna is plus 82. John Dudak up to uh, plus 45. Gary Livingston at plus 36. Carl C at plus 22. Dave Axon at plus 17. Dan Duskin, our host, at plus 7. And Dave Metzler rounds out the pluses at plus 2. Kevin Christie is only one back, though, at minus 1, and Jay Watts at minus 7. Bit of a break for Joel. Thank <laughs> you. 
there's a good break for Carl C. after a bad break for Carl C. He's still hanging around in 10th spot. He can stay around 200. He's still got two games to go. He doesn't have far to go. Right now, the sixth and final spot is plus 85. That's a bit of, a bit of work for him, but it's not out of the question.
great spare shot from Dave Axel. That is a, that's a tough spare on an easy lane condition, and it's certainly not easy on this. Joel pulled one like that a few frames ago and got away with it. That one didn't, so still gonna be in the 230s. It's gonna keep him safely in the top six. Thirty-seven for Joel Carlson. One eighty-two for Carl C. Is still plus, but not by much. He's going to have to shoot a big one to have any chance. And Jay Watts is going to get to plus here. Two games to go. Anything's possible. Messenger for Jay Watts. It's going to put him in the 230s. It's going to get him in plus 20s, and still got a lot of work to do, but he's got a chance.
Tony Manor finishes with 238. He was sitting in the last cash spot, so that's going to put him possibly into the top six. Three games. One open, three games, plus two. Missed the twice. Keith Lesko keeps on striking. He's going to be in the 250s again and extend his lead. Sounds like Eugene was having a little trouble carrying all 10 pins. Gary Livingston, the 225, is going to put him right around the last cash spot, or real close to it anyway, with two games to go. Dave Axon's hanging around. Still got a chance if he can put a couple of good games together for the end. Well, that concludes game six. We'll be back soon, game seven.